Usually, if we are not pet owners or farmers, we will not have much contact with wild animals. The animals we often see may be birds, neighbors' dogs or friends' cats. On the other hand, some people's lifestyle enables them to come into close contact with many different species. However, a girl has an incredible chance to grow up with a gorilla. Her name is Tansy, and she has experienced things that few people on Earth can experience. She decided to go back to the facility, hoping that when she finally saw the huge animals again, they would recognize her. Something incredible happened. Continue to read to reveal AI Chu's beautiful story and understand how their meeting unfolded. Tansy's childhood was not ordinary. When she was a child, her parents owned and operated a rehabilitation facility for captive gorillas. The goal of the facility is to one day bring gorillas back to their homes in West Africa. As you can imagine, Tansy spent her youth in a different way from most of her friends. She and her gorilla friends spent a full day in the facility, and of course, the world seemed like a perfect place for her. However, because of her parents, Ace had the opportunity to live with gorillas. Her father, Damien Espinel, the founder of the facility, lives to recover captive gorillas and help them live a better life after being released into the wild. Damien has a very special way of approaching gorillas. He insisted that all his employees, including his daughter, be in close contact with wild animals. Although this method is very effective most of the time, in the 1980s and 1990s, five employees were accidentally killed by animals because of misunderstanding and communication. Despite these deadly accidental attacks, the gorillas at the Espinal facility are quite calm. Most of Damien's experiences and interactions with gorillas are touching and life-changing. When she was a toddler, Tansy spent a lot of time with gorillas. However, although she was clumsy and uncoordinated, the gorilla realized that she was just a fragile child and established a close relationship with her. When the army of Espinal gorillas, made up of ten gorillas, was restored, it was time for them to return to the wild. Now they have to be released into the jungle of Gabon. Fortunately for gorillas, they were locked up on a river island for several months before they were released so that they could learn to defend themselves in the wild. When the day when the gorilla finally left, Tansy and her father were saddened to see them nervously walking into a jungle they no longer knew. They finally disappeared into the jungle and began a new life in the environment they deserved a long time ago. Tansy has grown into a beautiful woman. Now that she is 25 years old, she wants to meet her childhood friends. So she and her father decided to go to Gabon, where they would be reunited with the gorillas they had raised for such a long time. It has been 12 years since Tansy last saw the two gorillas whose ties to the two gorillas were named Jalta and Beams. But she and her father, Damien, did not expect that anything else might happen on their trip to Gabon. Damien Espiner has previously returned more than 80 gorillas to the wild. He has the experience of returning gorillas home, but the two gorillas are a little special. They belong to a large family group that is fully released. This is a large experiment in animal rehabilitation, which is why the results of their reintroduction of wildlife are not really easy to predict. So Tansy decided to go to Gabon to meet her and hope to still remember her two gorillas. She was anxious to find out how her childhood friends reacted. She sailed to the Gabonese rainforest. When she finally reached the depths of the jungle, she was ready to meet the gorilla. But what she doesn't know is that she will experience things she will never forget. It has been more than 12 years since Tansy met her friend. Now, she is a little worried about whether they will recognize her and how they will react to her. But she felt that everything would be all right, and she firmly believed that everything would go the way it should be. But she hardly knew that meeting a gorilla was not the only thing she thought of in Gabon. When Tansy went deep into the jungle, her father made it easier for her to find gorillas. They went to the place where the gorillas wandered. They finally saw them. Jalta and Beams remembered her and ran to see her. They hugged her, jumped around, and began to speak out to express their excitement. Tansy is glad that she can stay there forever. But she had to leave, and when she did, it looked like the gorilla almost begged Tansy not to leave. 
Although she likes to meet her childhood friends, Tansy and her father cannot stay in the jungle of Gabon forever. A few days later, Tansy had to say goodbye to her friends Jalta and Beams. She was afraid that she might not see them again. In the end, you never know what will happen in wildlife. But this is not the end of the story about Tansy and her ape friend. Releasing the entire ape back to its natural habitat immediately poses a huge risk. Damien knows very well. These gorillas have not spent their lives in their homes in Gabon, so there may be a lot of things that can put them at risk. For example, eating some poisonous fruit may affect their health, or they may find jungle diseases that they are not prepared for. But no one can predict the bad news that Tansy will get only a few months after the party. In fact, a group of people who monitor what's going on in the jungle actually take care of the Gibbon Sanctuary and Beams. They can even track animals throughout the radio transmitter. That's how they found the terrible news, two female gorillas are missing. First of all, they couldn't find them, but a few days later, they found their bodies. When they heard the terrible news, Tansy and her father were heartbroken. They can't believe they may have seized the last chance to meet Tansy's childhood friends. At first, they thought that gorillas were attacked by leopards, one of the only animals that could shoot down gorillas. But there is no sign of bites or similar wounds, so leopards cannot be the culprit. Both gorillas were beaten and beaten in a very powerful way. The culprit of these deaths is actually another gorilla. Unfortunately, the killer gorilla didn't stop there. Soon after, more gorillas from the same family were found dead. Three other gorillas are dead and the fourth gorilla is missing. They soon discovered that the gorilla victims were five wives of Jadalta and a baby named Aku. The gorilla who died in the attack was named Tamaki, 25, Kishi, 16, Manga, 27, 22-year-old Gibi and 3-year-old Kao, Fu, 22, missing wife. Although it is obvious that the killer is another gorilla now, everyone wants to know exactly who is responsible for what happened. They wanted to know if it was a poacher who broke into the reserve. There has also been speculation that it can be done by people who want to sabotage Espner's conservation project. But it seems that Tansy and her father are the ones who know the truth about the killer. Apparently, this is a silverback gorilla named Bormang, one of the children of a spiner, who was rescued from cruel captivity. Because of his own fault, Bormang did not get enough care, and because the baby was beaten, hung upside down and trapped in the shack, he became mentally ill. Tansy and her father were convinced that his mental damage led him to chase gorillas. Although this is not what he chose to be, Bormang is a dangerous gorilla that can unbalance the jungle. That's why they're looking for evidence to realize if he's the real killer. If Borman is super unpredictable and violent, then he may have to be dealt with. On the other hand, if he is not so violent, they may have to move him to a remote corner of the reserve. It was a very difficult thing for Tansy and her father. Everything seemed to fall apart when they realized that their gorilla friends were happy to see them. Tansy's father may immediately re-release the entire family. The facility will look for new ways to ensure that gorillas will be safe when they return home, and we are sure that Damien and Tansy will try their best to provide these gorillas with the best life they deserve.